Hello, uh, this is going to be a video of permeability prediction methods for carbonate reservoirs. The outline of this presentation is going to be first, um, I'm going to give a brief introduction of carbonate reservoirs. Uh, then I will explain uh, the permeability estimation methods, uh, subsequently the porosity and permeability considerations. Uh, after that, uh, I'm going to mention the permeability correlations and finally, the practical aspects of carbonates. So let's begin. Um, we're going to first define what is permeability. So permeability, also known as hydraulic conductivity, refers to the ease with which fluids flow through any substance. Uh, there are two uh, main types of permeability, um, absolute and effective. Absolute is the measurement of the permeability conducted when a single fluid or phase um, is present in the rock. On the other hand, um, effective is uh, the ability to preferentially flow or transmit a particular fluid through a rock when other immiscible fluid is present in the reservoir. Um, mapping permeability in general um, can be considered one of the most important aspects of per performance estimation studies. Permeability can be estimated through um, laboratory reservoir settings and wet lock measurements. For laboratory, there, there are uh, core analysis, reservoir settings, uh, formation testers, and pressure tension analysis. Um, in particular, uh, pressure tension um, analysis uh, provides only a single value of permeability uh, while the core analysis and the formation testers um, strongly rely on the pressure rate relationship for um, permeability estimation. Um, also, finally, if these uh, measurements are not available, uh, we can use well lock measurements uh, for the estimation of permeability. Um, right now, I'm going to mention some considerations of carbonates, porosity, and permeability. Uh, first, uh, I'm going to explain the pore system of carbonates, uh, and they can be displayed as uh, micropores uh, for uh, small pores, mesopores for uh, medium pores, and uh, macropores for la large pores. Um, these pores um, have the potential to make a disproportionate uh, contribution to the overall permeability. Um, moreover, it can be classified as interparticle uh, separate bog and toshim bog systems. Um, for interparticle, um, here uh, permeability depends on grain size and porosity. Uh, for separate bog, uh, permeability is usually less than from porosity and pore size estimations. Um, and finally, for touching uh, bog, uh, permeability is greater than from porosity and pore size estimations. Uh, permeability uh, prediction can be classified by uh, pore microlevel properties and field core or macro scale uh, data, uh, where both of these techniques relate the permeability primarily uh, to porosity. Um, also, uh, one of the most important correlations uh, is this one, uh, the uh, Cosseni and Carmen relationship that you can observe here. So this is the modify after um, Archie. Um, now we're going to discuss um, the uh, poor microscale models specifically. Um, all of these models in general were inspired by the uh, Cosseni and Carmen uh, relationship. Uh, and this relationship is based on three uh, terms, which are porosity, area, and tortuosity. Uh, and some of these characteristics are that um, it, is, it, it was applicable to unconsolidated and synthetic porous media, uh, since grain and pore properties were easily characterized. Uh, later, Archie proposed uh, a modification of it, and uh, log-log and semi-log relationships uh, were reported between porosity and permeability for different reservoir types. 
Uh, finally, there are two uh, main technique, techniques that involve uh, rock properties such as irreducible water saturation, shale content, and grain, grain size, and also statistical techniques uh, that we can apply to obtain uh, permeability. Now I'm going to mention some of the permeability correlations associated with pore or rock uh, characteristics. Uh, the uh, permeability correlations can be observed here on the right figures where we have the model, uh, the equation associated with it, and the main uh, variables. Um, here uh, you can see the second part of the uh, permeability uh, correlations. Um, most of these uh, correlations uh, were derived uh, for sand packs, synthetic porous systems, and uh, well-sorted clays. Uh, specifically for well-sorted uh, carbonate rocks, uh, these relationships are applicable, but the heterogeneous carbonates uh, use uh, techniques such as MRI and artificial neural network since they are uh, more convenient um, for this type of uh, carbonates. Uh, for the statistical techniques, uh, there are two major methodologies that associate the microscopic uh, properties of the rock uh, with permeability. Uh, one of them is fractal and the other one is uh, percolation. Uh, the different fractal and percolation correlations are here listed in this um, table, where again you have the model, the equations, and all the variables that are associated with the equation. So for fractal um, specifically, uh, different attempts have been tested in order to evaluate the fractability of the porosity and permeability relationship. Um, here on the right, uh, we have a plot uh, between core and permeability um, and core porosity for a chalky carbonate rock when we can clearly observe uh, two trends. Um, that um, are associated with high and low porosity values. Uh, the results of this study show that there is a possible uh, fractal behavior for um, high porosity um, part, like which are here the triangles. Uh, but for low porosity, it seems that no fractal uh, behavior is uh, pronounced. On the other hand, uh, for uh, percolation, it seems that there, are, there is a relationship between porosity and permeability. Uh, we also uh, noted that it seems that there are two trends here. You can observe here, uh, one for high porosity and the other one uh, for low porosity. Uh, moreover, it seems that it follows the, um, uh, this type of relationship uh, for high porosity, but it show a different behavior for the lower part. Uh, here you can see that we have to uh, fit the equation uh, in a different way for low porosity. Uh, finally, the relationship uh, between porosity and permeability for the chalky sample display um, a clear trend that obeys fractal and percolation behavior. Uh, Nevertheless, uh, this is caused by the homogeneous uh, structure of the chalk sample. Uh, for more heterogeneous carbonates, it doesn't really follow that trend. Uh, hence, other relationships and techniques uh, need uh, to be evaluated. Um, here you have the percolation theory associated uh, with it and the particle uh, fractal analysis. Uh, field scale models uh, can be used for permeability estimations. Uh, one of the most common practice is to use well log uh, measurements. Uh, the more frequent um, techniques used in well log data are MRI, uh, multiple regression analysis, and ANNN, artificial neural network. Uh, here are some of the uh, well logs or the most popular well logs. Uh, where we can notice that a wide variety, variety of well logs uh, can be used and tested, um, such as resistivity, sonic, density, neutron, 
gamma ray and NMR. On the table here on the right, uh, you can observe the different correlations uh, that were derived specifically uh, from wedlocks. And some of these correlations were actually derived uh, from previous ones. Um, so now I'm going to turn to NMR data, uh, since it is widely used uh, for permeability estimations. Uh, the most important aspect of it is that this was a major improvement for um, heterogeneous carbonates characterization, uh, because uh, T2, which is here uh, the relaxation time, relates the surface uh, to volume ratio of the pore system with the permeability. Uh, basically, uh, this is the permeability uh, estimation using NMR uh, measurements. Uh, later, um, uh, quotes uh, propose an improvement of it, and this is known as the quotes uh, bond water uh, permeability model that you can see here. Finally, I'm going to mention the practical aspects of carbonates and some of their issues. Uh, the applicability of the models associated with poor micro level are usually questionable for carbonates, um, especially for heterogeneous carbonates. Uh, fractal and percolation models um, are applicable for homogeneous ch chalky carbonate reservoir but not that much for heterogeneous ones. A uh, fractal uh, model, uh, they are actually more helpful uh, for heterogeneous carbonates. NMR uh, data um, improve uh, the quality of permeability correlations uh, for heterogeneous carbonates. Uh, ANN, uh, or artificial neural networks, um, uh, they often uh, provide a higher accuracy in the uh, permeability estimation. And finally, uh, MRA, uh, multi-regression analysis, um, were uh, more practical. This is a more practical technique since uh, it provides a direct uh, correlation. Uh, thank you. Uh, these are the references used. Uh, it is important to mention that this uh, presentation is mainly based on this paper uh, that you can see here. This is uh, pretty much um, a paper review on uh, the information that appears here.